and welcome to Emma's Sport. And today we're doing an almost full face of Laura Mercier. Now, I was introduced to this brand uh, from my partner's mother, who I had been complaining that my skin was becoming combination and dry sometimes. And she shared with me her Rider Dye, which was the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Um, she loved it because it would give her a somewhat dewy but youthful look um, had some coverage, was really easy to put on, pretty much no fail, and she felt great every time she was wearing it. Um, so I picked up the, this is the 2W1 Natural, because um, I have a warmer skin tone, and I really loved it. It's an SPF 30, super easy to put on, and so from there I just started exploring the brand and I came out with some favorites. Now I do have some things from the line that I don't use and that's where the almost a full face comes in uh, today. And I'll let you know why um, when we get to those, those items and I'll, I'll clue you in on what I like instead of. Um, but I was really happy to see that the Laura Mercier line was getting some new products and updating and revitalizing because for a moment there it felt like it was stagnating like it looked like an older brand um, it looked like something that not so sexy and usually that's the point where it's like you have a hardcore audience that's definitely loving it but you're not bringing in new fans and that's kind of a death knell sometimes to some of the the cosmetics companies especially when times get hard um, so anyway, we're gonna get ready with me and I'll just give you more information as we go. Um, so I'm going to remove my spectacles. Um, one thing I wanna say about the, the brand in general, um, at this point in time, their cruelty-free status is murky. Um, they were cruelty-free, no testing on animals during any of their, their processes, posts or pre, formulation. Um, but then they were bought by Shiseido, which uh, we talked a little bit about the whole uh, business of, of makeup. Um, the idea that sometimes the same larger corporations own a whole bunch of smaller makeup companies and you're just kind of at the mercy of what the parent company is doing or your smaller company that gets bought may may have never tested on animals but the parent company does and now uh, Laura Mercier is being sold in China um, China is they're moving towards a more cruelty free but only for their made in China products for those companies um, which gives them a tactical advantage um, if their products are able to be cruelty free, but other products that come into the country are needing to be uh, tested on animals legally. Um, so anyway, right now the Laura Mercier status is murky. Um, and I, you may not know this, but I am trying to have all of my makeup and skincare be 90% cruelty free. I'm working towards that. There's a couple of brands that really mess up my <laughs> my plans on that one um, but uh, so Laura Mercier right now is kind of on the fence um, and I'm hoping that as time goes on that ends up getting fixed I would rather have something that that's just makes me feel good altogether so anyway but again I do love some parts of the brand so we're like okay we'll put up with some of the murkiness um, but it does mess with my my status. <laughs> um, okay, so there is the tinted moisturizer. Um, it's a nice feeling. It does have some uh, moisturization to it. You can definitely feel that. So if you have, you know, a dry skin, I have regular moisturizer on underneath it. Um, just a light moisturizer today because I do I do find like I need something. Um, and now we're gonna set that with the loose powder by Laura Mercier. I have four billion powders, um, so for this one I just picked up a sample of the the loose powder. She does also have a pressed powder of this, works very nicely. Um, there's three shades of the loose powder. It comes in translucent honey and then deep. I think medium deep, um, so it doesn't go hugely deep, but it is more of a, a light powder for that. Um, 
So we'll go ahead and pick up some of this and just set it. And right now I believe this is a, a the uh, sample is one you can get from Sephora as one of their choose two samples with any order. Um, so if you're interested in trying it out, um, you can pick that up as a sample from Sephora. Okay, just making sure I'm set down here. Okay, so the translucent setting powder is great. Uh, you know, again, either if you have it in the, the pressed or the regular, not a problem at all. Um, now the next step that I'm going to do is bronzer and highlighter, and I'm actually not going to use Laura Mercier on this. Um, she has a, it's a matte luminizer um, that comes in four shades, and the very deepest one you can use on my skin tone as a bronzer, and the lightest one you can use as a highlighter. Um, and if you're just in, in room light, it's fine. If you go outside, it actually, it's not matte. Um, if you go outside, you can see small particles of the glittery stuff. Now, it's not huge particles, but it's still glittery particles. Um, so what I'm gonna use instead is something that, that I feel like accomplishes that very uh, natural look, but without the, the particles. Um, and this is the, the Charlotte Tilbury, the Hollywood Flawless. Uh, compact. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Um, and the thing about this is very, this is the lighter version. Um, I find this is just a very soft look, which is the same thing that the, the Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance is trying to do, but it doesn't have the particles. Um, if you don't mind that, that is a, a pretty, it's a pretty powder from Laura Mercier, but I I don't know if I'm going to be outdoors or I'm probably just going to be indoors today uh, working, um, but I still, I would rather have just the, the radiance without having to worry about any sparklies. Um, but some people love that uh, radiance, the matte radiance powder. Um, so if you, if you don't mind having just a little bit of particulate matter out in the sunshine, uh, definitely give that a try. From this line and then as far as her highlighters go um, I I just end up having highlighters if I'm going to do highlighter a highlighter look I have highlighters that I like better um, the new rose glow uh, highlighter that she has that came out with the rose line is very nice and I'm now putting on the highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury which is again this film star bronze and glow this is a mini size that you can pick up uh, at Sephora. Um, a little bit less expensive way to, to get into it. And with highlighters, um, it takes me a very, very long time to go through a highlighter. So having a smaller size and more compact that you can just throw in a bag um, is better for me. All right, so we've got the highlighter and bronzer uh, from Charlotte. And now we're going to go into one of my favorite things from the Laura Mercier line besides the tinted moisturizer. And this is the blush color infusion. Um, and the shade I'm going to be wearing today is Ginger. Um, and it's a very good, just almost neutral, but it's kind of the peachy neutral. Um, so we're going to apply that. And this has great lasting power. It's matte. Um, she does have uh, more shimmery blushes, but I love her, her matte blushes. Um, and this ginger is just such a nice, nice shade for me. Um, like I said, it's, it's that neutral, but warm. Um, if you want something that's just a, a shade peachier, but still in that neutral, the chai color is fantastic. Um, so if you pick that up, I think you would be really happy. I'm just brushing this on my cheeks. This is the old school Bare Minerals. Uh, this is the Flawless Face Brush. But I like it for blush because it's very soft. This 
So things that I would recommend from this line, the tinted moisturizer, the blush, and we're gonna come up with some uh, eye products that of course most everybody knows about, but it never hurts to, to say again how wonderful they are. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of blush on the eye. Just to add some color, because we're gonna do some eye sticks, some of the caviar line in just a moment. Okay. Okay, so there's the blush. Again, this is the shade Ginger. Um, and I do have a travel size of a different color. These are a great way to try the different colors and every once in a while, um, they'll be the travel size that you can pick up. Um, this is Rose and this is a bright pink, which I love. Uh, it's soft, so the, the colors are soft, but it's a, a brighter pink for being a soft pink. <laughs> um, this is one of the things that this line does really well is give color but have color that's a very forgiving and beautiful especially as we as we age. Um, the tones look really nice on. Um, okay so the next thing we're gonna do is the the caviar sticks on the eyes. Now these are they call them budge proof, but really these guys are waterproof and rub proof. Um, I can put this as a swatch on my hand and go run water under the sink and rub on it and it's not gonna come off. Um, and they're very pretty. And right now Ulta has two minis for $22. Um, this is the shimmery set and she also has the uh, matte set. The matte has cobblestone and eau naturale. And this has the rose gold and then the burnished bronze. And that's what we're gonna wear today. So I'm gonna start with the rose gold. Um, I actually find with these I like better starting out with my lighter color and then going deeper because I use the deeper color for my liner as well as a uh, deepening down in the, the outside and the crease. Um, so we're gonna start with the rose gold and you do have some time to play with these but you can't play too long because they'll they'll set down and like I said they are water resistant and rub proof. Um, if you have a lot of eye cream on, that will affect a little bit of, of that, or it can, but I use a lot of eye cream and I don't have any problem with that. So, all right, so we're gonna go in, I'm gonna put the light shade in the tear duct area, then out here, wherever I want the light, and then I can just blend, and it's a very soft light. It's not blingy. We don't come to Laura Mercier for the bling. We come from for the soft quality, the things that, that look great as you age. Okay, so we're going here. On the on, it's very exciting. Okay, and I'm also gonna go underneath the brow bone with this. I'm just gonna do a little tappity tap tap tapping. Okay. Okay. Tear duct. Tear duct. Okay, so there's your rose gold. And now we're going to go in with the burnished bronze. Okay, and like I said, I'm gonna use this both as, as eyeliner. So I'm gonna come underneath and work it on the lash line. Okay, and it's not too harsh, it's very nice. Okay, you're gonna go to the outside and bring it up the crease area. And then tap, go back in. I'm trying to make sure I'm not putting my mirror up where you can't see what I'm doing on my eye. I noticed I was doing that with my lip color the other day. Okay, 
So then we go to the other eye. Underneath on the lash line for liner. And then in the corner, a little bit into the crease. Tapping on. So there we go. And if we wanted, we could come back in with the, the ginger, the blush. And we could uh, in, put more of that color on the crease if we wanted that to show up more uh, with that color payoff. So I could just take a, a smaller, like a highlighter brush, come back in. And then it ends up tying together both your cheek and your eye. Um, and that makes it nice, kind of a cohesion to the look. Um, I'll apply mascara. I'm doing the Better Than Sex. Again, I find I'm so picky about mascara that uh, I, most of the time I'm, I'm defaulting to this. Um, I do have another mascara that I'm trying out currently, um, but that's few and far between. Usually I'm reaching for the, the Too Faced, so let me do that real quick. We'll put our spectacles back on and then do the lip. Uh, now, today I want to talk about the new, the Petal Soft lip crayons that came out from Laura Mercier. Now, here's the packaging. It's just a soft cream colored white. Um, the name is on the bottom. Um, now, this is something that I think is really promoted. It's a, it's promoted as long wearing and it's not. If you are going into this expecting a 16 hour wear of this, you will be sadly, sadly uh, mistaken when you, you get to 16 hours, there'll be nothing there. Um, and maybe hour three, there's a little bit of color that stays on, um, but it, it does not have the 16 hour wear. That's not why you're going to, to pick this up if you do. Um, then the other part of it, it is not matte. It is more if anything it's a demi mat um but it's got good slip to it it feels more like a a lip balm sort of of crayon um and then this is what it looks like and it does it's one of those that uh twists up um but it's not you know they say you can line your lips with it it's really too junky for that um even if you you tried to to you know work it to a point it's just not that's not why you buy this is for the liner um the colors are all very soft even the ones that are a brighter uh, color are all still very soft um and they you're going to be reapplying these so you need to take these with you if you're going to be out and about um now some of the colors are pretty um, I picked up Ella and I picked up another color um, that I ended up ended up returning um, because even though it was a deeper color I got Jean and I liked the color at first but the thing is as it was wearing off it was one that I was going to be needing to make sure I reapplied to have it really look good um, so this is Ella and let me apply this and then I'll, I'll talk to you about what was interesting about this product when I got it Okay, 
Now this Ella is close to my natural lip color. Um, I hate that your lips but better phrasing because it's like, <sighs> I could just put a gloss on if I wanted just my lip color, a clear gloss, um, but I'm looking for something else. Now this lip color was an interesting experience because I got it home and I put it on in the bathroom. And in my bathroom light, it didn't look like I had hardly anything on. Um, like it looked like a slightly pinkish, uh, just a, a light balm. Um, but when I went out into the living room, it looked like it had more of a neutral, peachier tone. Um, so I ended up taking a hand mirror and wandering through all the rooms in my house to see what color this actually was. Um, so that's the first thing that it was very, very slippy as far as like what color is it actually. Um, but in every case, it was a very pretty, very light, very natural color. Um, so I appreciated that, like it looks good. Um, and it's also pretty easy to, to slide on and not, you could even do it without a mirror that it's, it's such a light color. Um, so I felt like that that was nice, like the, the very natural look, the very lovely slippy feel on my lips. Uh, the fact that it wasn't a matte, um, and I was expecting more of a matte look from the way they were talking about it, but it's definitely got a uh, sheen to it. Um, and it felt nice on, the lighter color looked good. Um, so I thought this was just a, an effortless sort of a color that you could just throw in your purse, you could throw it on and it does transfer like a regular lip color. It's not, you know, even where it wears down, um, you know, it, it's not long wearing, it's not transfer proof. It's just like a nice lip balm and I like it. You know, I do, I, I feel like it's a, a this is a pretty color on me um, because it's a lighter color, it's really not fussy at all. Um, but, and I'm glad they're they're attempting to freshen up the line to be doing things that that are attractive. Now, other brands have lip crayons all day. You can get an Honest Beauty lip crayon and a Demi Matte that's like $14. Um, you can do Clinique has had the, the chubby sticks for years. Um, I appreciate the colors in Laura Mercier because again, I feel like uh, this line formulates colors that are soft and pretty and look good, you know, as you age. Or if you had a, a younger makeup wearer that was just starting out, you could hand this color Ella to them and it's fantastic, it looks great. But as far as this goes, like I would not be, although I did, I would not be running out to purchase this if you're looking for a great color payoff. It's just not that soft petal is is very soft. It's what it is. You can see how it is on my lips. Um, and all of the colors, if you watch people who do a color swatch of the whole line, um, all of the colors are pretty flattering and soft, even the ones that are a little brighter. Um, now, they there's 20 colors all overall. You can find at Laura Mercier. Uh, if you go to Ulta and Sephora, they have a little bit of crossover, but they do have some different colors of the, the Petal Soft lip pencil. Um, so you can go back and forth and look at them and see, and then go to the Laura Mercier website if you wanna see all 20 of the colors. Um, but uh, I am happy with the Ella. Um, again, if it's no fuss, if I'm looking for a deeper color payoff, this is not the formula that I'm gonna wanna do that with because it's too hard to stay in lines. Um, it needs retouched. Um, and so if I'm going for a deeper color, I'm going to go for a, a different formulation. Um, but I did wanna share with you uh, things that I have really uh, enjoyed. So Laura Mercier has the, the lip glacé um, and I picked one of them up in plum because if I'm wearing the, the rose blush and I wanna go more in the purples and the pinks, uh, this is a really pretty, really pretty color and tone. Um, these have a nice vanilla smell, um, very fun. But you see how there's the rose blush and there's my plum lip glossé. Um, and this is the doe foot for it. 
just slightly heavier, but not huge. So it's nice and it smells great. I love wearing it. Um, and it's just a really great gloss. And like I said, when I'm doing the rose blush and the, uh, the lip glossé, it makes a nice tonal. Um, now she just came out, this is uh, the glossé in more of a balm formula. And this is the cream caramel. So this is the color. And I'll swatch it on my hand and then in the same doe foot. Now this is called caramel, but this is definitely a peachier, a warmer, more peachy coral sort of a shade. And what I'm going to do is going to tap off the Ella, the lip crayon, and going to use a liner. I'm going to use my Glam Light Frosted Flakes liner and a little bit of this cream caramel um, and show you. But the, that crayon is very comfortable. Um, I would just recommend if you're getting it. Um, if you're getting a darker shade, just be prepared to line and do some upkeep. Um, if you're getting a lighter shade, you can just throw it in your purse and just put it on because it's gonna be more like a, a lip balm crayon. Um, but there are other cheaper options for those sorts of things. If that price point is a little much for something that's just a, a you know, light balmy sort of a thing. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick line. Again, this is the Glam Light Frosted Flakes lip liner in the set that comes with the lipstick. Okay, so I got a line and you can see it's kind of in that the neutral shade and I'll swatch that next to the so you can see it's a definitely deeper color than the lip balm there it is in the middle plum cream caramel glam light frosted flakes and then the rose blush okay so so then I'm just gonna take the cream caramel or caramel if you like Okay, so now I've got fabulous gloss and I could tap it down a little bit if I didn't want such glossy gloss. <laughs> um, but I, I like that, uh, the shine. So if I wanted to, this is it. So it's very like a light, I'm gonna take this off so you can see. And this is actually a look that you can do really quickly. Um, with the tinted moisturizer, you've got the SPF 30 in it, um, powder, little quick powder, um, your other steps can go pretty quickly. And then the iconic, uh, the, and like I said, you can pick up the minis if you want to try them out at Ulta. Um, but the caviar sticks are an iconic element from the brand. Super fast, super easy, uh, very budge proof as they say. Um, and I can't recommend the, the blushes enough. The blushes are great. Um, and then as far as the, the new products, um, again, you have to have your expectations in place. Uh, this is not long wearing. This is not deep color payoff. Even the brighter ones uh, are ones that you're gonna want to manage and wear a lip liner with. So at this price point, you just have to know what you're getting. Um, and you can, back in the old days, I would suggest going in and testing them out and wear test, you know, going into an Ulta, putting on the color, going and having a sandwich or a drink or a coffee or whatever, and then seeing how you liked the color. And then if you'd like that to buy it. Um, with COVID and all that, uh, you know, you have to be sanitizing lip colors and anything like that. and with the return policy for most of these places, as long as you haven't used over a third of the product, they're more than gracious about taking it back. Um, 
So I would say if you are interested in these and you're okay with the price point and you understand what they are and what you're going to be getting, uh, pick one up, you know, in the lighter shade. If you want a deeper color, just be aware that, you know, it may not work for you the way you want it to work, um, but you can return that. So I'm happy with Ella. Um, but I have no interest in picking up more of those, which is generally the sign. It's like, I'm happy with this, but I'm not driven to got to catch them all with Pokemon, which generally tells me that it's like, it's an all right sort of a purchase. Um, but it's not something that I have to have or I have to recommend to someone. So, all right. Um, here's my almost full face of Laura Mercier. I um, hope you enjoyed this and next time we're going to be doing a full face of one size, so definitely check back. All right, everyone, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.